Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen. If you have never been here, I am a mom of two little boys and I do intentional homemaking videos. So I try to help encourage and uplift other moms who are feeling really overwhelmed by life and by homemaking and by being a mom. Try to make videos to help give you guys some good tips, how to make your life a little bit easier, how to be happier while you're doing it, all of that good stuff. So today is one of my favorite videos to make. It'll be kind of a clean with me, mostly just declutter with me. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys and like tell you guys kind of some tips and tricks that I have used that have personally helped me get rid of things, let things go. I know sometimes it can be hard. So thank you guys so much for being here. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well. And like this video if you enjoy any part of it and let's jump right into it. And just a quick tip before we get started, grab two laundry bags, I mean garbage bags, one for garbage and one for donations. Um, I always do this whenever I start a big project, whether it's cleaning, decluttering, whatever, because you're going to need it. Okay, I know these ones I have not worn in years. So I'm really trying to get rid of things I haven't grabbed in the last like year. Um, pretty much all of these in here I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the rest. And then um, trying to see if any of my family wants the ones I'm decluttering before I donate them. Okay, cleared this basket out, hallelujah. Um, clear floor. So both my boys are sleeping right now and have been for the last two hours, which is why I'm filming in peace. So let's go do Henry's closet. Just kidding, Ethan's wake. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, there's Henry! <laughs> How did you end up on the floor? Did you just wake up? I got you lunch and then I came to give it to you and you were asleep on the couch. You've been sleeping for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Little turkeys reunited after naps. You guys are so cute. Not a sound sneaking out through your window into the night where we were meant to. Searching for no land Ready or not The 
this might be our last chance Maybe tonight we could make it count This is what we waited for No looking back, we started something I can never let go I'm keeping you close to me, we don't need no sleep Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm just kind of checking in and seeing how life is going. Um, comment down below something that you have been wanting to get done that you've been putting off forever. <laughs> um, for me, this video is like that, um, some of that. I definitely have a lot more. But sometimes when you just get started, like five minutes, you realize it's not a huge deal and it's not gonna be as hard as you think. So I encourage you guys to try to tackle something um, even just for five minutes and lots of times it gives you enough motivation to finish. And then if you only get five minutes done, it's better than nothing. So um, anyway, I also wanted to just say thank you for hanging in there. I've been taking some time off lately and I am back hopefully on my normal schedule for the foreseeable future. Um, that is what I plan. But I needed a mental health break honestly and also I got a new job so I had to kind of take some time off to train for that but I am a nurse that I know a lot of you guys know that um, but I just got hired as a PRN nurse to do like wellness and immunization checks um, at different corporations so we go in we give flu shots we take blood pressure height weight BMI um, and we do finger sticks and measure like uh, glucose blood sugar and um, a lipid panel like total cholesterol things like that so it's like a nice way to give some like lab values and then people can kind of change some lifestyle habits to then be healthier based on the values so yeah it's been fun um, it's super super part-time but I definitely needed to take some time off to kind of focus on that for a minute but I am back so thank you guys for staying subscribed and I really really appreciate you being here today so just sit back and enjoy some cleaning motivation or if you want to get up and get something done tackle that project that you've been putting off Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in golden I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Okay, so I there's still a bunch of his laundry. Um, that needs to be washed. So I did leave quite a few extra hangers and space here, but I actually think we won't need all of them. Um, so we're in summer right now. These are his short sleeves, and I know he has a handful that are still in the wash. These are his long sleeve stuff, and I'm keeping all these hung up because um, these will, should all still fit him this fall and winter. So he'll be set for this winter and then some sweatshirts cute little Disneyland sweatshirts his little I literally have the matching jacket to this <laughs> it's, it's so cute and then I paired back the church stuff quite a bit this there was like probably 30% more than this so I'm really happy with that Golden, I follow only golden, 
Days without water along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, I did it all for you It's all for you, it's all for you It's all for you Nights without sleeping Cause you fear the night And days without eating Cause it ain't enough for two And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you Okay, so clearly we have way more pajamas than we need I find myself looking in the drawer and just like skimming the top layer. <laughs> so we do not need this many pajamas. We get lots of hand-me-downs, which is great. And my mom gets some lots of clothes and I get them clothes. And so stuff just accumulates. Um, there's probably some things in here that are too small anyways. So we're gonna go through, get all the stuff that's too small out that we wanna save. And then we're gonna donate some stuff as well. Okay, so too small, too big donate um, from the last few drawers. I will hold you closer so you don't feel the cold. And it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you Place far, yeah, we could go for a ride. 
Okay, I didn't end up getting rid of as much as I thought I would here. And here's why, because we are going to be in fall soon, so I didn't want to get all of his warm pajamas and take them downstairs. <laughs> so I did packets here. These are zip, zip ups. Um, these are like cooler pajamas, warmer pajamas, zip ups. And then these were kind of some extra pieces that didn't have tops or bottoms that I know are in the wash. I might declutter some more of this because really he doesn't need this many pajamas, but about half of these we'll be using for like colder months and we'll be able to put some of these downstairs um, once the summer and like September is over. But um, yeah, and then these types of things, these fleece tops we use for like camping and stuff. And we do have some camp outs coming up and like layering. So I put these with pajamas, even though he doesn't normally wear these to bed. Um, he, he, he would wear these to bed for like a camp out. So anyways, more than I need. I know I'm working on becoming more minimalistic. I really do enjoy getting rid of stuff, but much more organized. And then I'm just going to kind of see what we end up using in the next few weeks and stuff we don't end up using as much. I will get rid of. Okay. Well, not bad. Whole garbage bag full of clothes that we're going to donate. Um, stuff that's just worn out we don't use that kind of thing um, and then I put all the clothes I had a stack on here that was just stuff we want to keep but too small I stuck in a bin in Ethan's room where I put clothes in too small for them and then I still have a couple I have a donate bag for other things and a garbage bag so we're gonna keep going in Henry's room I'm talking quietly cuz Ethan is napping in the next room I'm gonna show you guys this drawer This has become the junk drawer of the room. <clears throat> so I'm going to organize this. Um, I think I'm just gonna have this be like underwear, socks, and ties. We'll see. And then I need to get to his closet, which may or may not happen in this video, but some of these things will be moving into his closet. I want to get some little divider bins for this drawer. <clears throat> Most of his undies are in the <laughs> dirty clothes. We need to do his laundry. Um, we got church socks, regular socks, ties, bow ties. And then I did keep this little bin with just like some random little special things like his Disneyland pins, little notes, pictures, um, this little turtle cake, little turtle jar, and like some smaller Lego guys that I don't want Ethan getting into, so I'm gonna keep him up here and then I can help Henry get into this um, when he wants to see any of these things. I might end up moving this to his closet and I think his closet's going to be in another video because I kind of want to do a whole huge like closet organization. Our systems in here just haven't been working super well. So I really 
is worse than it actually looks like most of it's just pillows but I do want to come up with a better system for here so I think I'm gonna do this in another video and I may or may not move this little bin in there but this is much better than it was that's for sure Find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing. Okay, so I just got rid of three pairs of the fleece sleepers. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love. Okay, this is a little bit crazy to me that I have this much long sleeve stuff in Ethan's um, closet because it's July and we haven't been wearing long sleeves for months now. So this has just been taking up brain space. Every time I have to go in his closet and find something for him to wear, I have to sift through all of this <laughs> before I get to the short sleeve stuff. So I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do. This piece will be super good for camping, um, even this month, but especially like in the fall, we usually go on a camp out in the fall. So I'm gonna keep this one out and Ethan's pretty short, so this may even fit him through the winter. It's 18 months, he's 20 months, <laughs> and it may even fit him through the winter, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one um, handy. And this one, I love Ethan, or Henry wore this a lot, but the zipper is broken, and it's just not worth it to me to try to figure out how to fix the zipper when I have a million pieces, so, I don't know, um, I might donate this because I think somebody would probably be able to fix this um, and get this for cheap at the thrift store. So I'm gonna stick it in the donate pile. And as I'm going, I'm going to do like sweatshirts and shirts um, and then like the one piece stuff over here. And this is more of a pajama shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in with his little PJs in his drawer. And just a reminder, as you're going, keep hangers stacked or else you're gonna have a huge mess of hangers and it's just gonna add one more thing to your decluttering list. Um, and then I'll have another category for like church little sweaters um, that he will wear in the fall and winter. Oh, this is so cute. I hate when I have to put things that are like too small that I love. This is the cutest ever little baby gap jacket. But it's six to 12 months, so it needs to go back down to the basement. Okay. And then onesies, I think I'm just gonna stick these with the long sleeve shirts because that's technically what they are. Okay. Jackets and sweatshirts will be the same. This is such a cute, I got this for like $2 at Old Navy. It's adorable, it's 12 to 18 months, but it still totally fits him. I think this will fit him through the fall. It's a cute little fall color. So, and it's cute for the summer too. I'm gonna put this with shirts. Well, actually I'm gonna put this with sweatshirts because it's a little bit thicker. Um, and it could technically be a shirt or a sweatshirt. Baby Yoda from our Disney trip. Such a cute sweatshirt. My mom got this for Henry. And Ethan can wear it now. It's barely fitting him. I'm going to do a separate little section for hour wear. There's only one or two like actual jackets. 
and then I'll either take that, I might actually, I think I'm actually gonna take this downstairs. He'll be wearing this soon in the fall. So I'm gonna put that in our coat closet downstairs. Um, this one still fits him. So all of these, even though I know I have a lot, but are things that we, we really do use. Now this is the only thing we haven't really used yet, um, but I think this would be so cute for like camping, I, I don't know. We really don't need this many sweatshirts, but I say if you actually do use them on a semi-regular basis, you know, that's justification enough. Oh, and this goes with a pair of little pants. So I'm gonna look for those. I know they're hung up somewhere and probably just hang them on the same hanger. This is one of my favorite little outfits. Let me show you. I got this from Shine for like eight bucks or maybe less. And there's a little pair of pants to go with it. So cute. The, the like matching sets are so easy. You don't even have to think about it. Now this is a sweater I, that's a hand-me-down from family, which it's super cute, but here's the thing. Oh, I don't know, I struggle with these sweaters because they're really good quality. I just never go for like the bulky collar. I feel like it just, I don't know, isn't as comfortable for them. So I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away because I just don't reach for that type of thing. This is the same as his little red one. You see, yep, same size. This is super cute. I keep changing my mind, but <laughs> I'm actually gonna put these with shirts. I just feel like they kind of go better actually in this, call, in this category. And then this is, um, I don't use this type of thing unless we're camping and I use it for layers. And I do actually really like having a little fleece um, layer for when we go camping. So I'm gonna keep that one this cute little good staple long sleeve shirt will be set for the fall because um, I got him a bunch of clothes in the winter time that were like 18 months and he's such a cute little shorty that he didn't really grow into them until now so I don't think we're gonna need anything else for the fall I think we're set like all of these shirts fit him I love having a bunch of basics and neutrals and look how cute, like look at all these long sleeve shirts. We've got cream, this little one, we've got a couple of prints, blues and grays and whites. Anyways, we're totally set for him for fall. I'm gonna keep all of these because we have used all of these in the past and we'll definitely be using them for fall and winter. This is the cutest little Columbia jacket that my sister got um for henry she got this at a thrift store and it's in such good shape she got it for like six or seven bucks i think she said and it's a columbia jacket fleece looks like it's never been used so henry wore this um it's still in great shape and so ethan um this is oh you know what though it's 3t i didn't realize that so i'm gonna have to put this one in the basement until ethan can fit into it it's so cute though i love it And then this is a little outfit that can be used for PJs or just a regular outfit. Henry actually has the same one, but for his age, like you can only do that for pajamas, but for Ethan, it totally works. So I'm gonna put this with the, the one piece little outfits over here, gather up some hangers. Okay. And then a little Disney Mickey Mouse shirt that still fits him. All right, let's get it. The other pile of long sleeve. I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, 12 to 18 months. Okay, I think this is getting a little small on him, but I am going to hang on to him because I'm hoping he can wear it this fall. I don't know, I'll try it once and if it's too small, then I will put it in the basement. But this is one of the cutest baby items ever. Like, I just love it. So I'm gonna put this with outerwear. Um, and then this is such a cute little sweater. It's six to 12 months, but that is way bigger than six to 12 months. I know for a fact that he still fits in this. This is one of these sweaters that last like two solid years because 
it, you can have it be a little oversized, but anyway, it has the little bear ears on it. So this will be one that we'll have him wear to like church a lot, I think. So I'm going to put that with, let me see, probably with this little red sweater because I feel like these are a little more like churchy. And then my mom always gets them cute matching or like coordinating clothes. Henry has this shirt too, so it's a cute one. Little jacket that I think will work for him this year as well. I'm gonna put that with the outerwear. All right, we're down, we're back to the debate of the sweaters. Now, the other one I got rid of, it was red. I know we used this with Henry. Even though it's the collar, it's gray, which goes with everything. So I do think I'm gonna keep one of those. I think I'm gonna keep this one. And then this is 12 months, so we're gonna put this in the basement. I always get these types of little outfits for like 4th of July or something like that. Um, and then, oh, this is actually Henry's sweatshirt. <laughs> so I'm trying to think if it still fits in. It's a 4T, so I'm gonna stick that in his closet. And then this is like this little, <laughs> little bumblebee type outfit, it's cute. It's little sweats, and I think this, yeah, this definitely still fits him. So I'll put that with long sleeve shirts. This is 12 months. I know I keep saying I'm not gonna keep all these sweaters. I already have paired back quite a bit. But I think that is really cute. It's kind of like sad because Ethan didn't get to wear some of this stuff because seasonally, like it just didn't work when he when it was the right season. So, but that one I think would be so cute for Easter. So I'm gonna keep that stripy one if we had other kids in the future that are born at that time of year, six to 12 months, I think this will still fit him. I love this sweater. Uh, my mom got this for Ethan for Christmas and it's so cute. So this is for his first Christmas, I think. And um, so he's had it for two Christmases now. Um, it didn't fit until last Christmas, but I think it will still fit him. It'd be such a cute, like, little fall piece, so I'm gonna keep that in the sweater section. And then, look how freaking cute this sweater is. This is adorable. I like that it doesn't have the zip up. I really like it when it's a little more open. It's easier to put on them, and I just like more comfortable. This is definitely gonna be something we'll wear all the time. He, he will wear all the time in the fall and winter. So cute. Okay, and then cutest little rain jacket. Um, this is six to 12 months. It will, ooh. I actually think that it will still fit him too, and I'm hoping to get some use out of it maybe in the fall. So I'm gonna hang on to it. And then the first time I try it, if it's too small, then I will go ahead and put it in the basement. Okay, and as I'm sorting through these, I didn't take it all out like I did with Henry's closet. I don't know why, I just didn't feel like it. And so this is working great. I'm just like taking one section of thing out at a time so it doesn't feel so overwhelming and then sticking it back in. So I'm kind of just putting things in categories and like one right after the other. And then I'm gonna switch around the categories depending on like how I want the ordering to go, if that makes sense. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted somehow Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough
appreciate life and what you give is worth it When you're holding me and when you hold me so close I want further in under your skin Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been I used to be satisfied Okay, it's all still swinging <laughs> um, So I ended up doing extra hangers back here um, I need to actually add those back there. Um, I know he does have several things in the wash. These are my piles. I need to go do this right now. Take this downstairs to the basement and this too. This is stuff that's too small for both the boys and too, too or, or sorry, sorry, sorry. These are both things that are too small or too, <laughs> I cannot speak. Too big for either Henry or Ethan and too small for either Henry or Ethan. Okay. <laughs> So I did outerwear, like his little jacket and vests and jean jacket, and then sweatshirts and then long sleeve into the long sleeve pieces. And then this is all short sleeve into the short sleeve pieces. And he definitely has a lot more of this that's in the wash. Um, and then pajamas and then all his little church shirts. So like the little button up collared shirts kind of thing. And then I did sweaters back here cause we won't need these until like September or October at the earliest. So much better, it looks so good. Let's go ahead and dive into his um, dresser. Okay, don't be fooled. I have a lot of laundry to do for my kids right now. So, um, I'm just, <laughs> I, I need to go through and get rid of some things. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, like a little swimsuit um, set right there. And then this one, which I usually just pair with this long sleeve one. This is really cute, but you know, I think I'm gonna donate it because I just, we don't need, I also have another swimsuit, like two other swimsuits for him that we use all the time. That's like three or four swimsuits. That'll be four swimsuits that we're keeping. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that one. Um, this is stuff that needs to go in Henry's and the too big um, section. And then I think I'm also gonna put his little sweater down here. It just can't be in, actually no. I'm gonna put this down here with pants because we have more space down there. And this can go by his church stuff. Um, the sweater just gets like stretched if it goes in the closet. So yeah, let's go through and do the backwards. Okay, I just made a shelf for swim diapers here because we will use those. And then we don't really use pull-ups. I don't really feel like there's a point. Like they're not gonna hold what a diaper can hold 
they don't really feel like underwear. I don't really get pull-ups. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, we just use diapers or underwear. So that's what that looks like. Don't be deceived, there will be a lot more in there. And then I love having my diaper drawer be diapers, wipes, and I usually have a thing of butt paste in there, which is downstairs right now. And then this is the Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy. Both my kids have a little bit of eczema. Um, and there we go. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along Alright, and of course, when we go to DI, we also go to this because it's right next door. This has the best Diet Dr. Pepper with fresh lime, in my opinion. Try forever, I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up cause nothing